Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today, after a few comments uh, suggesting sh such a thing, uh, we are going to be nuking Earth from another planet. We're going to be using Mars to do this though, because Mars is going to be an easy shot. Well, easier than all the other planets. And basically what we have to do is line this up perfectly so that a large object, we're probably going to do something ridiculously large so that its gravity actually catches uh, Earth's or Earth catches it and we can actually be pretty sure that it's going to work. But um, this isn't going to be realistic, but it will be fun. <laughs> so we're going to start out by slowing things down a lot. What we need is to shoot the object away from Mars and it needs to curve towards the sun at such a way that it gets caught by Earth's gravity and then hits Earth. So if any aliens on Mars wanted to uh, attack us, this is how we're going to simulate such a thing. So what are we going to be shooting at Earth? It needs to be, why well, not a moon size object, maybe. Let's use Sedna to start. So, we'll try smaller things in a second if we can even pull this off. There we go, Sedna. Sedna is now there. It's going to start falling directly back into Mars because it does not have the amount. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it did shoot out fast enough. Jeez. Okay, I was going to say it does not have enough velocity, but it apparently does from launching it. So, if we're going out of Mars, now is the hard part. We have to make it meet up with Earth. So, we need it to be on the same plane. This this is the part that is slightly aggravating because everything in this game is slightly challenging to move. Can we spin it? Th no, that doesn't change its velocity. That would have been nice. Now, if we go down to its velocity, here we are. So, we have a lot of X velocity going, of course, in the X direction, which is this way. So, Y is up and down traditionally. So, Z is, we need some Z <laughs> force pushing, I think a negative Z is what we need. Um, so, if we do negative, you're not going to let me change that, are you? No, I can't. I can't change that by hand. Okay, that's that's going to be uh, pretty annoying. Oh, can I just... That would actually be nice. No. No, I can't. So we have to change this by hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to get somewhat towards Earth, and we're going to spin this. This isn't going to be accurate at all. This is one of my fears for doing this. Basically, by the time it's here, Earth also needs to be here which at this rate isn't going to happen. It needs to be somewhat more, and it needs to be lined up with Earth perfectly too. So I think we, if we come in at this angle, and we give it a little bit more speed, <laughs> and the faster we go, the harder it is for Earth to catch it. So this is pretty much everything we're doing is fighting against each other. Um, there we go. I think we may have a chance here, a very small chance. So let's see how this goes as our first test. Sedna being shot from Mars to Earth without doing the calculus out by hand. Uh, well, even if we did, we can't actually do that, can we? So I guess it's just praying now. So Sedna is going to begin on its journey as Mars moves away from it. And Earth is going to move in the same direction as it, somewhat. Here we are. It's left Mars. It's going this way. We have to hope that Earth is going towards it. Ooh, this is actually going to be close. First try. First try, please. First try. No, that would be awesome. If we pulled this off on the first try, the problem is the plan... It's not going to be on the same plane as Earth, and it looks like we're going to pass Earth by a tiny bit. But will the gravity of Earth be enough? No, it's not going to get nearly close enough. But actually, being honest, that was close. 
That was actually really close, uh, considering if we zoom out, that's that's within a uh, margin of error that would make me happy on the first try. Um, too bad we can't go back and correct it from where we were because this is going to be absolutely frustrating to do. So first off, we're using a bigger object. Less realistic, but guess what? We, we need Earth to be able to take a hold of it. Second, one huge problem is it's not going to be on the same plane as Earth, which I don't know how we're even going to solve that. It's going to make it extremely hard to hit Earth. Well, let's try just shooting straight. If we turn like this and then click right on Earth, now it's going at a very steep angle. Let's try this. We're not even going to mess with anything here. We're just going to pray. Pluto, I believe in you. Hit Earth. Do your job. Destroy Earth. Oh, geez, you're not going. And when it comes to the plane, we were actually really far off there. <laughs> okay, Mars, let's give this another shot. We need to shoot a little bit ahead because of the speed at which Earth is moving. Compared to Mars. So we need to be on Earth's... Shoot. That's a huge problem being on different planes like that. It's really, really annoying. Now we could simulate as if we could actually control the object we're shooting. But I think we're going for just shooting like a really big objects to do a ton of damage in which case that isn't realistic so I mean a lot of the simulation isn't realistic at this point so maybe we'll try a few ridiculous things in a little bit okay so Pluto is on its journey Earth's going to absolutely destroy it getting to that point <laughs> oh shoot I just deleted Earth not mean to do that. Hey, Earth, how you doing? Let's wait until Earth and Mars are lined up fairly well. We are literally trying to nuke Earth from orbit. Okay, so I think this is... This may work better. Okay. So from Mars... There's Earth's line. We're just going to aim straight at it. Pluto launch. We may have to make a few small modifications. But I think that overall, this may be close. Maybe. Okay, so Pluto is on its way. A long journey to cross between Mars and Earth and halfway and what do we have to do at this point we should slow down Pluto Pluto is going a little bit too fast for our liking so we're going to slow down Pluto about half of what it's at and that's going to give it a good chance of getting Oh, we need to slow it down even more. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Doing slight modifications here. It's just gaining speed. Uh, obviously because of the sun, which I did not factor in. It getting attracted to the sun. Okay, so this is, this is close. We're going to have a close flyby here by Earth. Earth and Pluto very close together. Now, we've already overshot a little bit. <laughs> Let's modify it to take into account plane. Let's burn this way, even though there's no engine on this thing. I'm using KSB terms now. We are going to pull it in this direction just to correct a tiny bit for our mistakes. And now we're going to bring this up to, I think, 10... Come on. Pluto, we believe in you. 
Pluto is now getting closer to Earth. Closer. 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 We are not going in a good direction anymore. It needs to be turning this way. Go, Pluto, go. You're not going fast enough, Pluto. Oh, geez. We can actually see Earth now. We are... So our original plans uh, actually didn't suck too much. They weren't good, but it appears at this point that we are actually close to Earth. With Even though we are maneuvering it a little bit, this isn't too much of an edit. Uh, it would have only required slightly changing the um, initial orbit to do this. So I don't feel too bad about modifying it this far. Um... Okay, Pluto, you have to catch up with Earth now. So we need to play aim for where Earth is going to be. So Earth is going to be about here-ish. So aim for that. And then you need to beat Earth there, or meet Earth there at least. So we're going to make you go very fast now. Pluto going towards where Earth is going to be. This is going to be uh, quite the quite the experiment here. Here's Pluto getting close to Earth. Earth's gravity would kick in any second now. We can do one finer small adjustment. Final uh and shoot. It's now going too fast for Earth to take a hold of. So you know what? Maybe we should just cut gravity. <laughs> We've already done a little bit of cheating here. Let's just pull it back. Yes. Earth, you don't know what you're in for. You have made fun of Pluto and called it not a planet too much. The people on you. Now Pluto will get its revenge. Here we go. This is... This is... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Pluto is now heading towards Earth at a very high speed. Uh... Let's get its speed in terms of light speed. Okay, so not not as fast as I originally thought. But at 50 kilometers per second, it is going to hurt. And Earth is doing some strange things over here. It's just completely made of water now. This is not the Earth I knew. Probably because I accidentally deleted it and put it back down. Um... Quick pause, delete Earth, put in a normal looking Earth. This is how we do it. Totally, totally realistic. It's all good. It's all good. And now, ready for this? Bam, bam, put this back where it was. I really would have liked it if I could actually do this properly. Um... Slight disappointment in the fact that I can't change the momentum because it makes it definitely a guessing game. Here we go. Pluto smashing into... Although Earth doesn't have the velocity it should, but, you know, I'm not even going to bother with that. At the speed at which Pluto's smashing into Earth, it doesn't even matter. Ugh, no, I'm being spammed. I should have... I should have done... Meh. Bam. And so... Slamming into Earth, Pluto absolutely nuking Earth out of control. That, that was... <laughs> so let me tell you how realistically this would work, because this video was kind of, you know, unrealistic. The most unrealistic. <laughs> so... Um, realistically, if you were trying to shoot a projectile at another, uh, planet, you'd either have to do correction burns on the ride, uh, like we did, just, you can't actually do that serious of them, you'd have to do them all along the way, or you'd have to line it up pretty perfectly so that either you are dropping it, so you're ahead in orbit, or you're in front, but it's probably better if you're in front in orbit, Although you'd have to wait a full year to get the perfect shot. You'd shoot it off, 
you'd get it out of orbit and then you'd make sure that it intersects exactly where Earth is going to be. But you have to factor for the amount of velocity it will gain going towards the sun. And you also have to factor for the Earth's gravity on it. And Mars, uh, in this case, the gravity it has on it when it's leaving Mars. So, through a lot of math, you can figure it out pretty accurately. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, given enough time, a piece of paper and pencil, and actually being able to modify the motion on these, the velocity... See? It doesn't let me change it. Whoa. It let me change it. But then it freaked out. So, it didn't let me set it to a constant. This, just sad. Sad. Um, but overall, that's going to be it for this time, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave us a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you manage to, uh, using the velocity and orientation tools, nuke something from, <laughs> from Mars orbit, uh, congratulations. Good job. 10 out of 10, and I will see you all next time. Nuke it from orbit.